unanticipated relief mm -hmm. is well worth anything that you think you're going to feel. So all it is is just a, a tug in a different direction. And you feel like it? Oh yeah. Just decompressing? Yeah, yeah. I felt it all the way through there, down into my shoulders. Which is, which is what I wanted. Exactly, which is what you wanted. Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Joseph Cipriano, and today um, we have our patient here. Now he's been having some like a burning numbness, and it's almost following the trap. It's coming right in through here, just kind of like above the scapula here. Um, how long has this been going on for? Uh, this is probably uh, 35 years. All right, 35 years now. So you had that pain. Now you, as you were telling me before, you were uh, very active high school, college, uh, a pitcher your entire life. Right. Minor league baseball. Right. So, um, this related probably to football uh, injury. Okay, football injury. Right. Um, so you've done it all. You're a very big Ford sports fan, very active. At least I was. <laughs> was, correct. Right. Now you said you're, you're almost limited just to golf. Yes. Um, now, just with how things are going, it's mainly that right side. Um, this left one here. Sorry, left, I right. put it like this. Yeah. I put my yeah. left yeah. instead of right. Mainly that left side. Um, what other issues are, have you been experiencing? Um, I'll get the tingling in the fingers. Okay. Um, both hands? Both hands used to almost always be on the right hand side. Okay. Um, lately, on my worst days waking up, it will be on fire. Okay. I'm um, just hoping that the swelling goes down raising my hand trying to get the blood flow back away because I feel like something is getting pinched to where this just doesn't let go of the pressure in there. Okay. So I'll see my fingers actually swollen in the morning on that one. Okay. Um, now how's the range of motion in your neck? I want to go through. Uh, if you look all the way up at the ceiling. Yeah. The pinches, in fact, I feel it down into both shoulders. So you feel that pinching going into both shoulders. Both shoulders. All right, now I'm not going to lie, just watching you do this, I can already tell you have definitely a decreased range of motion because you're you're almost looking more up with your eyes than actually, like if you look at me when I go and do this, right. you see I can actually get my head back, mm -hmm. whereas in your case you're going back just That's a little. Right there. Okay, now if you were to look all the way down at the floor, any pain with that? Um, same, I feel a like a stretching down into both shoulders. Okay, so it's coming down and following the traps yeah, like this? Yes. Okay, and then if you were to bring like one ear to your shoulder here, any pain with that? Um, a little pinch on the right side. In through here? Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're going to do the other side? Kind of that same pinch on the right side. Same here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then if you were to luckily like, rotate over either shoulder, any pain with rotating? Oh, um, not too much there. On the right side there. So when you rotate that way, where do you feel the pain at? On the right. On the right, okay. So it's a lot even, not just that, not just this numb, burning sensation right here, but you've got pain going down both sides. You even, like you were saying, you wake up and you get like the numbness in both your hands. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and all of that, that's all been going on for as long as you said? Or? It's been for the actual real burning down the hands mm -hmm. lately the last few months okay. I've experienced it. Not every day when I wake up, but the days that I do. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, that's that's my nine. Okay. Um, that's where I'm really hoping it's going to go away. Gotcha. Because I don't, can't imagine trying to live daily with an arm that feels like that. Correct. So, no, 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 correct. And then you were telling me at one point, um, what was it that was going on with the scalenes? The scalenes uh, related to that football, I, I thought I had torn my or broken my collarbone, but yep. these were always it's usually smooth along this side. Yeah. And then this side where uh, always I see that. And like a knot. Okay. Um, so lately I've been doing what I can to manually you just loosen kind of, it a little. Yeah. But I just feel out of balance. Gotcha. Like I just can't get it to to let go. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so yeah, today what we're gonna do and what we're gonna do first um, we're going to do a massage device. I just want to help relax all of these areas here. Okay. Um, especially, yeah, I mean, even just when I push in like this, it's a completely different feeling just coming around here. Yeah. I know, well, obviously, you've lived with this your entire life. You know exactly what it is. Right. For me, yeah, I, I'm noticing it just with feeling in. Um, but yeah, I want to, first of all, you're sitting up because I want to work a little bit, like across the chest, um, you know, below that collarbone on either side and just kind of help relax these areas um, and then I'll have you lay face down, okay? Okay. 
So let's go ahead. We're going to be doing a couple different of uh, little tips on here. Mm -hmm. So we're first going to start like, underneath the, the clavicles. So now this may not be like the most comfortable, but I just want to help relax everything. Take this arm, put it on, no, 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 on my shoulder. Oh, I'm good. Yep. So we're going to go through, we're going to do both sides. You know, we're going to go through like over that anterior delt, the middle delt, the posterior delt. Just want to relax everything. I know especially that you were uh, a pitcher. So granted, you know, there's been a lot of rotator cuff issues, you know, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, that teres minor. Um, yeah, just a lot of issues going on, so I know this may not be the most comfortable, but yeah, I actually feel like it's necessary. Correct. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just want all of this to relax before we try to make any adjustments. I know it's not the most comfortable, but Okay, we're going to switch to the other side here. Okay. You know it's that one? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm trying to, I guess, find trigger points myself, mm -hmm. the ones that I can reach. And I notice that it's always tight in there. Yeah, a lot of the times, that, I mean, and especially with you and kind of the, the pattern of injuries that you've been having, you know, that's why I'm doing this first and kind of, you know, working not just, you know, I mean, not just the back, but you know, the front, you know, the, the deltoids, you know, even, you know, the pec major, pec minor coming across. Um, and yeah, we're going to also do this right on the scalings as well. Trust me, it's not going to be the most comfortable, but... You know, definitely needed. Let's see, come here first. Okay, so now we're going to come right in through here. Even coming up a little bit too. I know this. If you want to turn your head, rotate that way a little bit. There we go. How's that feeling? That's good. Okay. in through here. What I'm going to have you do, I want you to lay face down for me. Okay. Okay. So I want to scan the entire body. We're going to check uh, the symmetry. You want to look at the right side compared to the left side. And we're going from that cervical spine going all the way down to the low back. Um, so here we go. So yeah, action. Definitely noticing very tight in the neck here. A little bit more on that right side even compared to the left. Well, we're coming down. Now, let me know if any of this is um, like painful to, to the touch for you, okay? Okay. Okay. But yeah, definitely tighter on that left side of the trap. A little bit more taut fibers in the right, in that part of the neck, though. So we're coming in, yeah. 
We're also going to work on that uh, hypervolt running through here too on the back. Okay, so we went from the cervical spine going into the thoracic spine here. Okay. Now we're going from that thoracic spine into the lumbar spine. Any issues through here? Uh, down with the lumbar. Ew, ew. Right into here, more on the left mm -hmm. or more on the right? More on the right, I think. More on the right, okay. All right, so a little bit more throughout that lumbar vertebra on that right side. All right, now we're going to come down to the SI joint. Any pain when I push it on the right side? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Okay. What about directly over the sacrum? A little, little bit. And what about the left side? Just a little. Okay, so a little bit of pain just throughout the entire um, hips, pelvic, and lumbar spine. So we're going to come down and we're going to check the leg length down. Okay. So we're coming in. Not too bad on balance. Now the one thing that you do notice is that this right foot, ten, that ankle tends to roll in just like that. Um, but yeah, so it is, we do got a little bit of, let's actually get a correct measurement. All right, good. A little bit of right short on that side. So as you can tell, you know, I lock out the ankles, push everything in. When I bring those feet together, we are a little bit short on that right side. Not much, but just that little bit there. So we're going to start off, we're going to do that full body adjustment, um, starting from up here. All right. Good? Yep. All right. So yeah, what we're going to do, um, just because you are a little bit tight so through here, we use the hypervolt on the, on the front, on the chest, um, but yeah, let's use it a little bit first through here and also get the low back and then we'll go ahead and start the adjustment. How's that feeling? That's awesome. <laughs> Good. Yeah, we really just want him to relax the areas up here. I know he's very tall, very tight, so. Really focusing a lot on either side. Alright, let's come on down to the low back here. So he was feeling a little bit of issues both on the right and left side. And over both SI joints and sacrum. Now that we got things relaxed, what we're going to do, we're going to start that adjustment right up here in that cervical thoracic junction. Okay. And go right here on that left side on that T1. There we go. Feel how that just opened up on that side? Okay. We're going to drop a little bit down, T2 on the right. There we go. That yeah, just opened up real nice there. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have you take a deep breath in and exhale out. Good. One more time. Deep breath in and exhale out. Good. Okay. So now what I want to do, we're going to come back down. We're going to take a look at the leg length. So putting together, actually, even just after that, that right almost even pulled longer. It's almost ba almost balanced, almost a little bit longer. So what we're going to do, what that's telling me, um, so we did good through here. Still got to work on that low back, sacrum. So what I'm going to do, we're going to check to see if there's more uh, sacral activity going on here. So I'm going to stabilize on the sacrum, and I want you to raise your right leg up as high as you can for me. Any pain, tenderness, tightness with that? Yeah. All right, relax that side. 
Raise the left side up for me. Any pain, tenderness, tightness with that? Yeah. All right, so pain and tenderness and tightness on both sides. So what we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna do some drops and I'm gonna do torquing on both sides. So I first want you to cross the right foot over the left foot. Um, the table is gonna come up from below you. And so we're gonna be doing drops straight down like that. I want you to bend this knee. No, no, no. Just bend this knee. Bend this knee for me. The right one for me. No. You're good. start the other side. So I want you to cross this foot over that one. And now we're going to torque the other one. Good. Uncross. And we're going to bend this knee for it. Yep. So in your case, everything was just really kind of stuck into place. So what I want you to do, I want you to raise this leg up for me again. Do you notice the difference? Mm -hmm. A lot easier, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now raise this leg up for me. How does that feel? A lot easier. <laughs> Good. So a lot easier just with raising both the legs. Um, so I want to just push in a little bit. How does it feel through the lumbar spine? Uh, a little tender. A little tender? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we addressed the SI joints, but now we're going to work on the on that lumbar spine. What I'm going to have you do, I'm going to have you lay on your side mm -hmm. and face me this way. So we're going to bring this up. There you go. Bend this knee. Good. Roll you a little bit. Perfect right there. Good. Flip to the other side. All right, I'm going to have you sit on up, come forward for me. There you go. How would that feel on that other back? Yeah, still feel a little, still tender right here. Just wait, we're going to do that wide strap on you. Okay. And then I do want to, because yeah, you actually still, yeah, still some taut, some tight muscles on there too. So yeah, we're going to do the wide strap. We're also going to do that hypervolt, the massage device, see if we can relax those muscles a little bit more. Okay. Um, Let's go ahead and let's clear out this thoracic spine for you. Okay, so I want you to take a deep breath in and exhale out. There you go, I'm going to go up just a little bit here. One more time, deep breath in and out. Good. Alright, so I want you to just relax your arms. Okay. So we're going to do the Y strap now. Now this is the main reason why people come to see me. <laughs> it's because of the wire strap and, and getting that manual decompression. Mm -hmm. So you're going to feel this all the way up in that cervical spine. You're going to feel this going all the way down as well. Okay. And place this up and over. Good and relax. So I stand at the top of the table here and I'm going to distract in the Y axis and we're going to decompress this entire spine here. <clears throat> <laughs> and relax. How'd that feel? I felt it. <laughs> you felt how that just yeah. goes all the way? Definitely right there at the, at the base. Expect, well, that's yeah. where you were originally saying that, that so one area. Yeah. Where yeah. it was stuck at. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to mm -hmm. have you come on up. Alright, if you were to describe having like that wide strap done to you, um, to people in the world who've never had it, what would you tell them? How does that feel? Um, just feel a little bit of pressure, but also I think like you said, people 
come to you for that. Mm -hmm. So I think the anticipated relief mm -hmm. is well worth anything that you think you're going to feel. So all it is is just a, a tug in a different direction. And you feel like it? Oh yeah. Just decompression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt it all the way through there, down into my shoulders, which is what, which is what I wanted. Exactly, yeah. which is what you wanted. Yeah. Um, I want you first before we do the, because um, I want to finish up, I want to work a little bit on that lower back, just kind of help release some of those muscles. Um, I want to go through just a little bit of range of motion, kind of just have you move around a bit. Okay. Um, let me know how things are compared to when you first got in. Okay. So even if you're to like look up. I feel like I can go further. You're actually tilting your head back instead of just looking up with your eyes. Right. Yeah. And then just mm. like going to the sides, going down. That's further. That's further. Uh, okay. That's further. It's still kind of tight on the right. Still tight on the right? Cool. So you're noticing all the other ones? Yes. Like okay. That one feels much looser. Good. Um, turn it face that way for me. Yeah. All right, good. So I'm glad. It's definitely feeling a lot looser. And that was, you know, that was a lot of the main things. Um, yeah, it's still... Yeah, it's still kind of numb underneath all in there. Underneath there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I know that um, that injury that you had years ago, um, what could be going on a lot even in there, even like how you told me, is uh, almost like a buildup of scar tissue. So what I want you to do, I want you to take this arm, put it behind the small of your back for me. So we're going to just come underneath. This is just a soft tissue technique that I'm going to do. Um, the reason I do that, you feel how your scapula kind of lifts off your back there. So I'm going to just come in with my thumb a little bit. Now, obviously, it's not going to be the like, best feeling ever, but we're just going to get up and underneath here. You feel how I just push in. I'm going to come up and underneath here. Really, you kind of feel how I, once I get my thumb in there, I kind of just move it around a bit. And I work my way. I go all up and down that inferior angle, that superior angle. We're going all up and down that scapula and really just kind of digging in and to help get any of that scar tissue kind of to let go and release here. Now granted, um, definitely a strong guy, not making much of uh, faces or whatnot, but I know this is not comfortable for you by all means. But definitely something that you need. And as much as, uh, you know, I don't want to hurt you or anything, but you know, it's like a good hurt. It's something that you need. Absolutely. So, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, kind of go easy on you when you, when I know that you need it. Right. Thing right in there. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. He. I know you feel. Oh, I'm just digging on in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're getting definitely getting deep through here. There we go. Perfect, how'd that feel? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's good. All right, um, actually, you yeah, you can bring that arm back around. Okay. So I'm gonna work on that low back. We're gonna do that hypervolt. I just wanna kinda relax some of those muscles in, in that back there. Okay. Get things a little bit, a little bit better in here for you. And then either, like, as you guys can tell, you know, it's, like, I even work up a little bit of the sweat on my own, I just, you know, I'm not holding back on him when I'm doing things, and you know, especially, um, you know, with coming in and making a drive. You know, obviously, you know, you're gonna get the best care as possible. I'm gonna do what you need, and if it needs me to inflict a little bit of pain for, you know, that I know that you're gonna, your body's gonna respond better to. You know, that's what I'm gonna gonna do. You may be sore for a day or two. But overall, you're gonna definitely feel better, um, especially after. Make sure and stay hydrated. Drink quite a bit of water. If you need to ice, do um, like 10 minutes on, 10 minutes off. Um, actually, one thing that is that I've used that is has been pretty beneficial for me. Um, if you've ever used like a portable tens unit, mm -hmm. like the little shop pads, right. you can definitely set that up. Um, have you ever used that on there before? I have, but more just up here. Okay. Not more in the back. Okay. Yeah, those are actually pretty good. They send that, um, kind of like that electrical impulse in, and they help contract the muscle. 
Um, now, when you do it, you, obviously you want to do it um, where, like enough where you feel it, but you don't want it to like, yank or pull way too much. Then you know you're kind of defeating the purpose of it. So use it, um, you know, lightly. But yeah, you can get a lot of good release with that. Um, but yeah, besides that, you know, we got a lot of great movement today, and now yeah, I'm really just trying to relax these muscles down here as much as possible. So, good thing was with that sacrum, we definitely got a lot more movement. You were able, you know, how you lifted those legs back. Right. So, that's a good thing. The, the reason that I'm really focusing on these muscles is we got a lot of good movement. We got the body aligned how it needs to be. But what I don't want to happen is I don't want these muscles to pull it back to that bad alignment quickly. So that's why I'm really trying to focus on this and really trying to relax it out. Um, just so you can actually hold that adjustment longer. I do notice myself leaning forward. Mm -hmm. Because of that. That definitely, yeah. Perfect. How's that feel? Kind of loose. Yeah, it's a little tight when I get. When you get up. Okay. But yeah, compared to what it was. Compared to what it was, yeah. No, so yeah, definitely got a lot of good movement. Yeah, with in your case, just because, like, even with me feeling everything, like, yeah, everything you know for you is very tight. Mm -hmm. um, getting things to relax on you is a little bit harder, I guess, than the normal person, but. Still got a ton of great movement with that wide strap. Um, definitely got to get in there real good. Um, some of the main things that I'm gonna follow up with you on are um, like that, the hand, okay. with both the hands, with the, that numbness, the tingling, um, even a little bit in here, that burning sensation, how you're feeling. Some of those are gonna be what I wanna follow up with you on, okay? Okay, right now this, no tingling, minimal. Minimal tingling? Minimal, compared to when I came in. Yeah. So even that quickly you've noticed? Definitely. Good. I try and find a good position for my neck mm -hmm. to alleviate it, Yep. but I don't know if I always do. Gotcha. So that's where I made round and back. So. Gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, no, that's good. That's good that you're already, even that quickly, mm -hmm. getting some releases there. Big difference. Perfect. So. Good. Glad to help you out. I'm Dr. Joseph Cipriano. If anyone is looking to schedule an appointment, um, just go right to the website, drjosephcipriano.com. Um, send me a message from there, and I'll try to get back to you within a day or two. But, yeah, I'd love to help you. Have a good one, guys.